Hi, I'm Bex from Zen Physioga Conscious Health and welcome to part two or step two of managing stress. Now, it's a bit of dark moon at the moment and I'm feeling a little bit sensitive, a little bit low. And so it's actually a little bit hard for me to do this today. But my commitment to you is to do it anyway. And I think that's what I want to share with you today about stress. Is that it's not what happens to us. That really is important. It's how we react to it. It's what we choose to do. And without step one, without creating space for the awareness to seep in, then we don't have a choice about how we respond because we are so grooved with our habitual reactions that the choice is taken away. We don't have a choice. And we keep making the same mistakes and we keep doing the same things and eventually that's going to create disease and unhappiness. When we start to create the space, then we can see that we have a choice. We can use this suffering and this pain as a, an impetus, as a reason to change, to move forward, as a reason to make different choices, to say, I've had enough, I don't want to be like this. And sometimes it's just okay, like, like today. I'm okay. I just feel a little bit sad today. It's a little bit ho-hum. I feel a bit extra sensitive. And if we allow some space, then we get a chance to reflect on the why. And to be more gentle to ourselves, more kind to ourselves that we've had many experiences we have many interactions with others and all those different energies push and pull us around and life will continue to go on and the extent of our suffering is not a reflection on us. How we respond to it is a reflection on us. So please give yourself loving kindness and next week we'll talk about some very particular tools and techniques that we can use to help bring us back into balance. I hope you have a beautiful day and a great week. Much love.